oh my goodness, what a frustrating episode. I mean, this is the episode that's supposed to introduce us to Kang properly, like introduce us to a Kang that we didn't meet in the first season. He tried to give us a background into who he was before he started doing what he does. And I feel underwhelmed, man. I'm just so frustrated by what Marvel is doing because this show falls into what we should expect with this modern type of shows that we have. Episode 1 and 2 were perfect in terms of pacing. They were they were focused. Let me just use that word. They were focused and they were really, really lean and tight in terms of editing. So, even if you are not really in tune with what was happening, you are in it because the show made an effort to, to keep you engaged, you know? And with this episode 3, oh my goodness, I... I I expected this this to be it, you know, in terms of weight. You expect this show to be like the most engaging because, again, you're introducing us to this guy who's supposed to be the badass, you know. Kang is supposed to be like this thing, but yet I felt like it was just, ah, it was just, ah. It's pretty obvious with these Disney shows, and, and so I don't think I should go into it. I mean, we talk about production value, we talk about good casting, we talk about good set designs, we talk about good cinematography and coloring. That's so, you should expect that from Disney, because their Disney show, their Marvel or Star Wars show, so you expect all those things to be perfect. But everything else, they had a story, they had something going for the first half, and then the second half, they absolutely lost it. I mean, I watched, it's, it's like watching a plane take off successfully and then just go down halfway, you know? What what do I mean? Apart from the pacing, which I've talked about, like this was, the, I, I was not engaged. After, after like the 30th minute, I wanted the show to end. After the 20th minute, I wanted the show to just end because it lost track. It began so well. You introduce us to this character, we found out this is a person who doesn't know what to do with this invention. He's more of a con man. And then I'm like, yeah, I like that. I, I like that you're giving us, you're subverting our expectation. I love the fact that you're taking us to a different direction. But then, boom, ah, Sylvie drops in and then it becomes a soap opera. The second half of this episode was a soap opera. And, I, and there's nothing wrong with a soap opera. But if you have a sci-fi movie about a comic book character, it does not need to be a soap opera. And it goes against everything that they've established in season one and season two. I don't know who wrote this. It doesn't feel natural. It feels super off. I mean, think, well, let me give you a good example, spoiler alert. We have, um, you have the animated clock, the AI, which somehow fell in love with Kang. And I'm like, what the hell? I mean, if, her mot if, 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 if her primary motivation for this was, was something else like wanting to bring TVA to life because she was created to run TVA and she was passionate about TVA and she wanted it to happen. That would have made sense. That would have made sense. It's not this, oh, she, she, she spent more time with Carl so she fell in love. What, what, what is that really? Seriously, guys. Come on, Marvel. What the hell is that? I mean, this is an AI. There's nothing wrong. I, I know there's the big argument about AI becoming super intelligent and becoming all these things. There's nothing wrong with that. But it doesn't fall in line with the character as it had been established in the first season. I would have expected the AI to be more passionate about bringing TVA into life because that's, that was her purpose, you know. That was the purpose of the AI. That, that's why it was created. You know, it was a part of this other thing called TVA. I thought the primary motive would have been, yo, I want you to do your best in order for us to be able to bring this, you know, in order for us to bring this thing into life, not to lose this thing. Not to talk about falling in love. What the hell was that really? Seriously, come on, Marvel. Ah. Anyway, the other thing is Kang. I mean, Kang, they've established that Kang is a con man. So when eventually Sylvie catches up with him and he she's ready to kill him, what does he do? Does he con himself out of that situation? No, he doesn't. He has to beg. You know, he has to go like, I don't know. He has to give all this monologue about them not knowing each other and just so many other things rather than doing what was established about him, which is conning himself out of that. So that for me was a kind of... They lost their way. And then, and this is the last thing, the show is just too convoluted. 
you have too too many characters who have too many there are so many motives within a single episode that you feel like these are just clips it's an episode of loki that has other mini episodes within that main episode you know this episode feels like a season all the events that happen feel like they are their own separate thing they feel that they are episode different episode in themselves so uh, and, and i was like you could have made this linear if you just focus on khan because this is supposed to be the episode that you know exposes us to him before he became what he was he became and i think we would have a, have a better time and i think that we would have a better time if you did not try to make it look like a soap opera so much drama around and it's melodrama there's nothing wrong with melodrama but it's just melodrama and this is a sci-fi marvel show come on guys so yeah i was really disappointed by this episode they could have done better i'm 100% i'm i'm 100% certain that they could have done better but that's what they gave us i don't know where they're going to take the show because we have an interesting ending to the episode i don't i i, I think what they decide to do especially with that relationship between the three if you've seen the episode you know what i mean it's just ah uh, it's it 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 doesn't feel like it was written by people who understand marvel let me put it that way it doesn't feel like it's true to what they've established it feels like they want to take the show to uh, it, it, it 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 feels it feels like they're trying to tap into drama it feels like they're trying to trap to tap into you know the soap opera kind of formula and i'm like If the next episode is this but uh, um, I I might have to tune out because it, it it really doesn't it really doesn't it doesn't just you know they had such a good first two episodes in terms of pacing and focus but right now they've just merged everything it's just a ball of confusion because there's so many motives there's so many other directions I miss just listening to Loki and Mobius. I really miss just listening to Mobius and Loki and Obi because their their conversations were interesting. You know, you know why it didn't work with most of the characters that they had in this show because they were so they, they were so preachy. They were so monologue. They were so I did everything and who are you Mobius to tell me what I'm supposed to do? They were so so self indulgent. You know, they were so over the top and it was unnecessary. Why can't you just Mm, the dialogue also gave me a problem and I, I'm talking about specifically the second half of this show there were moments I was like come on this can't have been written by the same people who wrote the first two episodes because the di- the dialogue was uh, was pathetic so if I was to give this show you know out of five I would give this uh, 1.7 that it's it's a pretty weak show and I'm give, only giving it 1.7 because of Khan because of how they established him because of the twist I love that I love I wish they would have just followed through with that I wish we would have followed him through his adventures and not include all these other plot twists that are just that just not interesting so basically that's it remember to always watch what you enjoy and enjoy what you watch I'll see you on episode f- I'll see you on episode 4. I hope they do something about the pacing and just the plots. I we can't we can't now start introducing other things. I just feel that there's just so many other interesting things going than what they established in the second half of, half of this episode, man. Anyway, that's it. Um um you can watch my other you can subscribe for episode 4. I mean I, I there's nothing else I can say. I'm just disappointed. Anyway, that's it. See you on the next one.